Are you stressing about holiday weight gain? If so, I want you to consider something. I want you to consider possibly maintaining your weight, maintaining the progress, your physique, maintaining your consistency through the holidays may actually be a win because the average person gains between three to five pounds every holiday season. So even if you're not quite where you want to be yet, keeping status quo over the holidays is actually a fantastic goal and can really be considered a win. Um, so in this training, we're going to chat about how exactly we're going to go about doing that. Because listen, Thanksgiving is one day. Um, for most of us, probably it's two family meals, maybe a little more. Um, Christmas, though, is more of a season, not necessarily a day. There are multiple parties. You've got work parties. You've got celebrations with friends. Um, you've got family things going on. Um, so even if we're going to guess really high on this, let's say that maybe that is 10, 10 meals and celebrations around the Christmas season. That's a total of 12 meals, two for Thanksgiving, 10 for the Christmas season. That's approximately like 12 of the 150 meals you have left in the year, okay? So when you break it down like that, why in the world would less than 10% of your meals remaining in the year jeopardize your fat loss and lead the average person to gain three to five pounds? Let me tell you why. It's because they let those 12 days of meals bleed into the other meals that they are um that they're having instead of just enjoying those meals and then jumping right back in to those healthy habits so that's my first tip is going to be pick your indulgences stick to whole foods as much as possible otherwise if you're going to a party or an event i want you to plan on indulging for that one meal if you want to you don't have to but i want you to plan your indulgences and then don't throw the whole day away. Eat healthy going up to it, indulge during that um, event, and then move right back into your healthy habits. It does not have to be all or nothing. It can be all or something. Um, a little tip, if you're wanting to stay a little healthier during the actual events and not just overly indulge, my tip would be obviously pick out whole foods, your proteins, your fruits, your veggies, eat those first, and then eat your indulgences second. Um, another example of this would be like on Thanksgiving. Your Aunt Kathy makes these sweet potatoes and they have two cups of sugar in them, but you only get them once a year. Um, eating those sweet potatoes are not gonna mess up your progress long term. But maybe you skip the Sister Schubert rolls that you can have any other Tuesday, any other time of the year, okay? So I want to ease your mind on this, that there's actually research um, looking into what makes people gain weight over the holidays, and it's not binging on Christmas and Thanksgiving meals. Um, in fact, you'd be surprised to know how much you actually have to overeat in one day to actually put on body fat, okay? To actually increase your body weight. Um, most of the time you'll go up, it's basically water weight, but to actually gain body fat, you need to be eating between five and 6,000 calories in one day. And I promise you that's way harder than you think it is. So research has found that the weight gain over the holidays actually comes from the leftovers. Um, that's what keeps people from overeating and overindulging the next day into the next day into the next day. They let that one meal bleed into the other meals. So enjoy your Thanksgiving, enjoy your Christmas, enjoy your holidays and your parties. Um, and then don't let that bleed into your next day, bleed into your next meal. Enjoy, indulge, and then jump right back in. So plan your indulgences and then jump right back into those healthy habits. My next tip, a very practical tip, don't mingle around the food table. Most of the time when you go to a party or something, they have hors d'oeuvres or um, like a drink bar or something all like just this spread of food, okay? Don't stand there because you will mindlessly eat and snack on those things even when you're not hungry. So make a plate and go sit down. Sit down somewhere other than the kitchen or somewhere other than the food around the food table to have your conversations um, in your community. Next tip is to stick to your fast. Oftentimes during the holidays, we can't always control what we eat, but typically we can control when we eat it. So um, I want, for most of my clients, I recommend somewhere between a 12 to a 16 hour fast. 
Um, so that would be eating most of your meals between an, in an eight to a 12 hour window. So stick to that fasting as much as possible to give your body time to really digest and process everything and switch into a fasted state before you have your next meal. Next tip is move your body. Go for a walk um, or even get that workout in if it's possible. Seriously, you're going to feel so much better if you make movement a priority in your day. And bonus points, if you move your body and go for just a walk after you eat that big indulgent meal. A 2022 study this year in the Journal of Sports Medicine showed that even a two to five minute walk, not even a brisk walk, just a two to five minute walk following a meal reduces your insulin response and thus that blood sugar crash that you feel, you know, that nap you want to take after you eat Thanksgiving dinner, by almost 20%. So get up, take a quick walk around the block, um, especially, you know, outdoors is always preferred. Um, and that is going to make leaps and bounds of progress for you, okay? Next simple tip, stay hydrated. I want you to aim for half your body weight in ounces of water per day. This is going to help flush your body out so it's not hanging on to any of those not so great things that you're putting into it. And plus we often crave those sugary or those sweet or those salty foods when we're thirsty. Um, so staying hydrated is gonna help reduce your cravings as well. And then the biggest tip I have for you is enjoy. Enjoy the time spent with your family. Enjoy the time spent with your friends. Do not stress out about the holiday season. Anything you can do to help reduce your stress during this stressful season um, is also going to help move that needle forward or at least keep you status quo. Um, because stress in increases your cortisol level. Increased cortisol is directly related to belly fat retention. So enjoy your time as much as possible. If you can go for, um, do any kind of like the stress relieving activities like going for a walk or meditating, praying, journaling, any of those things um, that are getting enough quality sleep that are gonna reduce your stress, stress level during the holidays is definitely going to be helpful. Um, and just know that a few not so great nutritional choices throughout the holiday season isn't gonna make a lick of difference in achieving your long-term goals as long as you have a plan in place. So what I'm talking about here is consistency. It's not all or nothing and it's not about perfection. So I want you to take a moment and think about it. By incorporating these tips that I just told you, you're not gonna be taking two steps back during the holiday season. You're gonna be maintaining status quo so you're going into the new year just like you are right now. If you want to learn a little bit more about maybe priming your body for fat loss um, over the holiday season, um, so that maybe your body is ready to start shedding some of that unwanted body fat come January, I want you to drop your email in um, the comments below and you're gonna be one of the first to hear about my masterclass coming up next week on what you can start doing right now to prime your body for fat loss in 2023.